Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to understand the dimensioning in AutoCAD. Dimensioning is a very important step and to understand dimensioning we are going to make a small figures, a, just a random figures to understand what is linear dimension, what is aligned, what is angular, how to give the radius, how to give the diameter for the circles. So let's take a line and I'll make a line over here. Okay, so this is a, just a random figure for me. Now I'm going to make a dimensions of each and every line. So I go to the dimensioning. This is for the dimensioning tab. And here we have a linear, aligned, angular, arc length, radius, diameter, ordinate, and jog dimension. So if you notice that, this is my linear line. In the same way, this is my linear line. Okay, so why these are the linear lines? Because these two lines are either parallel to x-axis or y-axis. So I have to take the linear dimension. I open this drop-down menu. I select the linear. When you come over here, it will show you the endpoint. So select this one with the help of mouse and then come to this next point and this one. So when you come out, it will give you the dimension of this particular line. So presently it is 69.63. So when you zoom it, you will find that this is a comma. How to replace this comma with the dot, I will tell you later in this video. First, I will take the dimension of this vertical line also. So this is again a linear line. So I will select this point, this point, it is 43.23. So in the same way, this line is not a linear because it is not parallel to either x-axis or y-axis. So how to take the dimension of this line? This is a basically a aligned line. So I'm going to this one. I select this aligned and I'll select this one and this one. So it will give me a 39.58. So in this way, you can give the dimensioning of linear and aligned lines. Now let us suppose what is the angle between this vertical linear line and this aligned line. So I go to this one again dimensions. I select the angular and after selecting angular, I'll select this line and this line with the help of left side of the mouse. So it will give me an angle. So you can see this 119 degree. Okay. So in this way, you can give the angular dimensions in the AutoCAD. Let's see how we can give the radius and diameter for the circle. For that, I make a small circle over here. Now I want to know the what is the radius of this circle. So I go to drop down menu of the dimension. I will select the radius and after selecting this one, I will select this circle. It will give me a radius. So out of this circle, I click over here. It will give me a R means radius 30.72. In the same way, I will go to drop down menu, select the diameter, again select the circle. So it will give me a diameter. You can see this. This is a diameter. So in engineering, phi means diameter. Phi is uh, just a term for the diameter. So you can see this, it is a twice of your 30.72. So in this way, you can give the dimensions. If I want to change the text size of this dimensions and arrow sizes in the command line bar, type D and enter. When you enter it, this dimension style manager will open and here just go to the modify and here you can see this we have a lines lines means what kind of color of dimensioning lines you want so let us suppose i will select red over here just to show that and line type so this is a again a by block line so you can see this when you take the li red line here it will show that what type of lines will change. So in this way, extension lines also. So if you change this color, let us suppose I will change it into green. So when it I'll change it, you can see on the right side, the green colors has been changed. So let's go to the further symbol and arrows. In this, we have a type of arrows. What kind of arrows you want? So basically in engineering, we will select always closed field. Second also closed field. Leader is also closed field. And what could be the size of arrow? It presently it is 2.5. You can also increase or decrease. Let us suppose I will take it as a 3.5 or enter. So you can see on the right, the size of the arrow has been changed. Okay. In this way, text also, 
you can also see that we can also change the text color let us suppose i will take a cyan color so see cyan has been changed but we will take mainly it is on black so we will take in this way you can also change the size 2.5 it is by randomly by default autocad will give you a 2.5 all this so let us suppose this is a 4 and enter see the size of the text has been changed go to the primary units in the primary units we have a different type of units over here you can also select scientific when you see the scientific it will give you dimension in this way when you go for the decimal which is a common in our engineering so we will take a decimal you can also take a engineering one engineering will give you dimensions in feet and inches okay in this way you can also select the architectural it will also give you a feet and inches in fractions so basically we will use decimals so we'll take the dimension so you can also change the precision over here see this is a precision means up to what decimal point you want the dimensions so let us suppose i will change up to this one see this it will change up to three decimal points so basically we will take maximum up to two points or maybe we won't take over anyone so it is a dimensions so let's go to the okay now we will okay it and one more thing we have a comma over here if you want to change come to the period one okay it will change okay then closed now see this your dimensions everything has been changed what we change in the dimensional style manager so in this way students you can give the dimensioning in autocad and you can also change the dimensioning in autocad if you like this video kindly subscribe this channel for more videos like this if you have any query you can comment in the comment section I will come back to the answer of that particular comment. So be happy and thanks for watching.